how to create a curve on a piece of cardboard. The technique that I am showing here is a series of score lines using a scalpel. You can see that I have marked this piece of cardboard with parallel lines, 10 millimeters apart and five millimeters apart. The wider the gap between the parallel lines, um, the greater the circumference of a circle um, that you are creating. And the closer those lines together means that you can achieve much tighter curves in your material. Take care not to push too hard with the knife as a sharp blade can go all the way through. It's best just to score gently initially that first layer and gradually work through as you can see here with another two passes. When all the lines have been scored, gently prise each of them apart, being really careful not to tear or rip the piece of cardboard. This might take a little while, but take your time. Best not to rush these things. If any of the lines don't seem quite deep enough, then simply score again. You can see now the curve starting to take shape. And you can go back over each score line and ease it open a little bit further. Now we'll turn our attention to the smaller uh, gapped lines. And again, we're using the same technique, gently score through. And again, be careful not to push too hard. The most important thing here to remember, always use a sharp knife or a sharp blade in your knives. And that steel ruler gives us a very true edge to work against each time. And again, we start to prise open each one of those score lines. Now on this particular one, I felt that each one still felt a little bit stiff. So I ran the knife through once again, just nice and gently, just to open that up a little bit more. Again, the sharp blade really allows you to get a real feeling of how hard to push. If your, if your knife was blunt and your blade was blunt, you wouldn't get that same um, sort of feedback from the, from the tool um, back to you when you're cutting. And you can see these really starting to open up nicely now. And gradually that curve starts to take shape. And it's quite malleable, so you can sort of make those, those curves a little bit tighter or leave them a little bit larger. Now I had a pre-prepared piece of material here just to indicate that we could indeed use our um, form as an internal wall. So perhaps with a floor uh, surrounding it, perhaps for an interior model, perhaps there's a staircase to take us up to that next floor. Um, or indeed, this could be a, a product design in the early stages of uh, development. So just getting a sense of what that could be. And we also can, of course, have an internal element that could then be glued or fixed to the inside of our piece here. as we can see here. And again, gluing that would simply be something like PVA glue. Uh, you could use some Yoohoo glue um, uh, held together with a bit of double-sided tape where it dries uh, nice and easy. So enjoy your making. 
and thank you for watching this video.